welcome to today's yoga class. My name is Jessica, and I'll be guiding you through a full body, mindful yoga flow. So we'll be practicing on our mats today with a little more awareness to our breath, our body, and our movement. So when you're ready, go ahead and find a comfortable seated position. And we'll find Gyan Mudra here. So bringing the pointer finger and the thumb together and relaxing the other three fingers. Resting the hands on the thighs with the palms face up. And we'll be using this mudra to bring ourselves into a deeper state of concentration and focus. Closing the eyes here. And beginning to tune into the body. Bringing awareness to any physical sensations. Noticing how it feels to breathe in and out through the nose. Notice how the belly expands and contracts with each inhale and exhale. Feel the shoulders soften. Notice the weight of the arms and the legs. And feeling supported and grounded from the earth beneath you. And repeating this mantra silently in your head. I am present and aware. I am calmly centered in this moment. I focus my attention on the here and now. I'm taking a few more breaths here. slowly begin to open the eyes releasing the mudra bringing the hands on top of the knees finding some movement in the hips here so just starting to find some circles with the hips keeping both sit bones grounded just start to shift your body forward to the side back and to the opposite side So finding this organic movement, just warming up the spine and the hips. Moving in one direction. And then when you're ready, moving in the opposite direction. Allowing your movement to match your breath. One last time here. And then coming back to center, finding a neutral spine. As you inhale, reach the arms all the way up. As you exhale, bring the hands to the opposite triceps. Find a nice tall spine as you inhale. As you exhale, bend to the right, getting a side body stretch along the left side of the body. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, bend towards the left side. Inhale, come up through center, releasing the arms, coming into cactus. Lifting the chest. Exhale, round through the spine, bring the fingertips to touch. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades together, open the heart. Exhale, round through the spine, draw the chin to the chest, fingers touch. Inhale, lift the chest, gaze up. 
and then exhale round. Keep moving here at your own pace, moving with your breath. And as you open your heart, maybe have a smile on your face. Just notice how it feels to open up through the chest. Good. When you're ready, release the hands to the mat. Coming through a tabletop position, making sure the hips are stacked above the knees. And then go ahead and walk the hands forward coming into puppy dog pose. So sliding the forearms down, releasing the forehead to the mat, getting a stretch in the shoulders, really pressing into the palms here, spreading all 10 fingers nice and wide, pressing down so much into the palms that the elbows lift up. Good, and if you'd like to take it a little bit deeper, you can come on to the fingertips or you can bring the chin on top of the mat. Keep pressing the chest down towards the ground. Two more breaths here. And releasing the palms to the mat, pressing into the forearms, slowly lower the hips down to the mat, coming into Sphinx Pose. Elbows underneath shoulders. Go ahead and lift the chest. Open the heart. Press into the palms and then drag the palms down towards the back of the mat. From here you can bend the knees, lifting the toes towards the head, heels towards the glutes. And gently release the feet. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes. Lift the kneecaps. Using your core strength, press into plank pose, and then exhale, downward facing dog. And beginning to pedal out through the feet, bending one knee, bending the opposite. Bending any organic movement that feels good here, just loosening up the muscles in the back of the legs the hamstrings, the calves. And then go ahead and find stillness here in your downward facing dog. Press firmly into the palms, spread all 10 fingers nice and wide. Go ahead and bend the knees and then lift the hips up closer towards the ceiling. And then straighten out the legs, let the heels sink towards the ground. From here, we'll move into a downward dog twist. So bringing the feet slightly wider than hip width distance apart, bringing the left hand to the center of the mat, bringing the right arm across the body towards the outer edge of the left ankle, gazing underneath the left armpit, breathing here. And then gently release, bringing the right hand where the left hand was at the center of the mat. Reach the left arm underneath the body towards the outer edge of the right ankle. Gazing underneath the right armpit, breathe. Slowly release, bringing the hands back to a neutral downward facing dog. From here, as you inhale, roll forward into plank pose. Exhale, bend the knees, send the hips back towards the heels, downward facing dog. Moving through this two more times, so just finding this spinal wave motion, rolling into plank pose, bending the knees, sending the hips back, downward facing dog. One more time at your own pace. Once you're back in your downward dog, go ahead and lift the right leg up. And then exhale, step it forward, top of the mat. Drop the back knee, coming into a low lunge, finding your foundation strong through the front leg. And then inhale, reach both arms up overhead. As you exhale, finding Kali Mudra, so interlacing the fingers, releasing the pointer fingers and the thumbs. Inhale, grow tall. And as you exhale, find a slight back bend, lifting your heart open towards the sky. Inhale to come back up. 
and then exhale, plant the hands inside of the right foot, coming into lizard pose. Maybe putting the right hand on top of the right knee and gently opening up the right hip, spinning onto the outer edge of the right foot. Feeling a deep stretch in the left hip flexor. And then go ahead and plant both hands, framing the front foot and then straighten out the right leg for half splits. As you inhale, lift the gaze. As you exhale, fold over the right leg. Inhale, lift the gaze, coming onto the fingertips, and exhale, fold. One more time here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming back through a low lunge. And then bringing that right hand inside of the right leg. Kick standing the left leg, straightening out the right leg, coming into a side plank variation. So you're facing the long ways of your mat. Left hand is planted, right bicep extended alongside the ear. As you inhale, lift the right leg up, extend long through the spine, and as you exhale, draw the elbow to the knee. Inhale to extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Use your core here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Hold here, or maybe reach that right hand for the back of the right foot, kicking the foot into the hand to find a slight heart opener. Breathing here. And then gently release. Turning to face the back of the mat, plant the right hand down. Draw the left knee into the chest. And then extend the left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, plant the left leg down to meet the right, finding downward facing dog. Inhale, rolling into plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a breath here. Inhale, lift the left leg for three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward, top of the mat, dropping the back knee, finding your foundation, and then inhale, reach both arms up overhead. Exhale, Kali Mudra. Fingers interlace, releasing the pointer finger and crossing the thumbs. Big inhale, growing tall through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, finding a slight back bend, opening your heart. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, plant the hands inside of the left foot, coming into lizard pose, finding whatever variation feels best for you here. So you can bring that left hand to support the left hip into opening up a little bit more, gazing over the left shoulder. Spinning onto the outer edge of the left heel. And then go ahead and frame that front foot. And then straighten out the left leg, coming into half splits. Inhale, high on the fingertips. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Once more here. And on your last inhale, go ahead and walk the hands all the way over to the front of the mat. Kickstand the right leg, straighten out the left, planting the right hand down, reach the left arm up and over, and then lift the left leg up. Big inhale here. As you exhale, draw the elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, draw the core in and exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, hold here, or as you exhale, bend the left knee, bring that left hand to the top of the foot, finding a slight heart opener. Breathing here. And then gently release, bring the left hand down, facing the front of the mat, tuck the back toes, and then draw the right knee into the chest. Inhale, lift the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it down, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll the body into plank. And exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the ground. 
Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale for baby cobra, gazing over the right shoulder. Exhale, release the forehead to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, gazing over the left shoulder. Exhale, release. Tucking the toes, lift the kneecaps, press into the palms, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale as you lift the right leg up. Exhale, draw the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, twist, right knee to the left elbow. Hold here or extend the right leg coming into fallen star. Lift the hips up, open the heart towards the sky. Good, place the left hand down if you took that variation. Draw the right knee back into the chest and then extend the right leg up. As you exhale, step the right foot forward, coming into a high lunge. Anjane Asana, reach the arms up. Finding eagle arms here, so the left arm wraps underneath the right arm and around, so pressing the fingers and the palms together. Lifting the arms as you inhale, as you exhale, open the arms to cactus. Bring the hands to heart center, coming into warrior two. So opening the hips a long ways of your mat. Back foot parallel with the back of the mat and then extend the arms out wide, gazing over the front fingers. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, bending into the right knee. Inhale, as you shift your body weight forward, flip the front palm. As you exhale, reverse warrior. Bring the left hand to the back of the leg, right bicep to ear. Take an inhale here, coming into extended side angle, bringing the right elbow on top of the right leg, and then exhale, bring the left bicep to ear. Good. Inhale, reverse triangle pose, straightening out the right leg, left hand comes to the back leg. Triangle pose here, right hand comes down onto the right shin. Reach the left arm up and over, so stacking the shoulders here if you can, gaze up at the left fingertips. And transitioning back into high lunge, so spinning onto the back toes. Inhale, reach the arms up, hips facing the front of the mat. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. Inhale, grow tall through the spine, and as you exhale, twist to the right. So bring the left uh, elbow to the outer edge of the right knee. From here, you can extend the arms out wide if that feels nice. And then go ahead and place both hands back down, framing the front foot, hopping that left leg up, coming into pyramid pose. So straightening out both legs. Inhale to find length. And as you exhale, fold over the right leg. Inhale to halfway lift here. Walk the fingertips forward. Lift the left leg up. Bring hands to heart center, coming into warrior three. So body is in a T-like shape, keeping the back toes flexed. From here, as you inhale, slowly lift the upper body up, hovering that left leg through, and then bringing that left ankle on top of the right thigh, coming into a pigeon pose in a chair variation. So sink the hips down towards the ground. Feel the left hip begin to open. Keeping your focus here. And then inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, come back through warrior three. Plant the hands coming into standing splits, lifting the left leg up. Holding here for one more breath. And then slowly release the left leg to meet the right foot at the top of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And then exhale, ride the breath down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat, step it back to plank, moving through a vinyasa. 
Finding your chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, three legged dog. Exhale, draw the left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, twist, left knee to the right elbow. Hold here or extend the left leg coming into your fallen star. Lift the hips up, open the heart. Beautiful. Plant the right hand back down if you took that variation. Hug the left knee in and then extend the left leg up. As you exhale, step the left foot forward. Inhale, reach the arms up for your high lunge. This time, left arm comes underneath and around the right arm for eagle arms. Lift the arms up so the elbows are in line with the shoulders. And on your next exhale, release the arms coming into cactus. Lift the chest up. Bring the hands to heart center, coming into warrior pose. Hips facing the long ways of your mat, and then extend the arms out wide, gazing over the front fingers. Pressing into that left knee. As you inhale, reach the left arm forward, flip the palm, and exhale, reverse warrior. Right hand comes to the back of the leg, left bicep to ear. Take an inhale here, extended side angle. Left elbow on top of the left thigh, right arm reaches up and over as you exhale. Breathing here. Inhale, reverse triangle, right hand to the back leg, straighten out the left arm, getting a left side body stretch. Triangle pose, plant the left hand on the shin, reach the right arm up, stocking the shoulders, gazing up at the right fingertips. Moving into your high lunge, spinning onto the back toes, hips facing the front of the mat, arms reach up. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. Big inhale, grow tall through the crown of the head. And then exhale, twist. Right elbow comes to the outer edge of the left knee. Holding here in prayer hands or extending the arms out wide. Strong through the back leg. And then planting both hands down to frame the front foot. Hopping that right leg up to come into your pyramid pose. So straightening out both legs. Inhale to find length and then exhale fold. Imagine that you're drawing the left hip back and the right hip forward. One more breath here. And then slowly walk the fingertips forward, coming into warrior three. So bringing the hands to heart center and then lifting the right leg, keeping the toes flexed, body in a T. And then very slowly from here as you inhale, Lifting the upper body back up, you're going to hover that right leg straight through and then hug the knee into the chest, crossing the right ankle on top of the left thigh, sinking the hips down, coming into your pigeon chair pose. Finding your drishti here or a single pointed gaze to help you balance. Taking one more breath here. As you inhale, slowly come back up, uncrossing the right leg, moving it back through warrior three, plant the hands down, standing splits. Reach the right leg up. One more breath. And then slowly release the right foot to meet the left foot at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, ride the breath down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, moving into chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward dog. 
taking a breath here. Noticing how the body feels. Noticing where the mind is at. From here, keeping the legs straight, go ahead and walk the feet to the front of the mat. And then sink the hips all the way down, coming into boat pose, Navasana. Lift the feet up, extend the arms out to the side. Finding a nice tall spine, draw the low belly in. Big inhale. As you exhale, find Ardha Navasana, half boat pose. So straighten out the legs, hover the feet, and then hover the head. Inhale to lift back up into boat pose. And then exhale, Ardha Navasana. Keep the core nice and strong as you inhale back up. And then exhale lower, hovering here. And inhale, awesome job. Exhale, hover here. Holding for three two, and one. Gently release. Hugging the knees into the chest. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth, let it out. From here, release the feet to the mat, bringing them hip width distance apart. Bring the palms to face down onto the mat. We'll come into our back bend now, coming into bridge pose. So from here, go ahead and press into the hands and then lift the hips up, shimmying the shoulders underneath. You can interlace the fingers here, pressing the palms together to get a deeper stretch. You could even bring the hands underneath the hips, bringing the elbows on the mat to get a deeper stretch as well. Holding here, Keeping the chin tucked into the chest, energetically drawing the knees together. Imagine that you're squeezing a block in between the legs. One more breath. And then slowly release the hips back down, bringing both knees to one side and then bringing them through the other. Moving them to one side and then the other. Just resetting the spine, resetting the sacrum. We'll move into one more back bend here. If you'd like to come into bridge pose again, you can. If you'd like to move into wheel pose, feel free to do so as well. Feet hip width distance apart. If you're moving into wheel pose, go ahead and bring the hands beside the ears with the fingers facing the front of the mat, elbows pointed up towards the sky. Wherever you are, as you inhale, press into the feet and then lift the hips up. If you're in wheel pose, go ahead and press into the hands and lift the crown of the head onto the mat. Maybe walk the hands closer in. Press more into the hands until you lift yourself all the way up. Maybe walk the feet out, finding straight legs. Making sure you're distributing the weight evenly along the spine. Breathing here. Keep pressing the hips up towards the sky. Keep breathing through the collarbones, through the chest. Drawing the shoulder blades together. One more breath here. Slowly release, coming back the way you came, bringing the crown of the head down, the back, and the hips. And then go ahead and bring the feet to the outer edges of the mats. Allow the knees to fall inwards to touch. You can place the left hand over your heart and the right hand on the low belly. Tuning inwards. Just noticing if that heart opener had any effect on your physical body. Maybe you feel the subtle beating of your heart underneath your left fingertips. Maybe you feel more expansion in the chest.
Just noticing whatever is present for you in this moment. When you're ready, you can release the hands onto the knees and then just slowly rock yourself back up. Coming into a seated position, from here we'll extend the right leg, draw the left foot in, readjusting your body so that it's facing the right leg. Inhale to find length. And then as you exhale, fold forward over the right leg, grabbing a hold of anything you can reach. Maybe it's your foot, your ankle, your calf. And just allow the head and neck to hang heavy here. And on your next breath, you can slowly make your way back up. Planting the left hand beside the left hip and then lifting both hips up, finding a slight back bend here. As you exhale, slowly release back down, straightening out the left leg, bending the right knee, readjusting so that you're facing the left leg, and then inhale, straighten out the spine. As you exhale, fold forward, round through the spine, grabbing a hold of your foot, your ankle, or your calf. Just allow the upper body to hang heavy. And slowly come up, planting the right hand beside the right hip, lifting the hips up. And then exhale, release back down. Bring both soles of the feet together, coming into butterfly pose. Opening up both of the hips as you interlace the fingers around the toes, growing tall through the crown of the head, and then as you exhale, fold forward. On your next inhale, slowly come back up. Bring the hands underneath the knees and then draw the knees together. When you're ready, you can extend all the way down onto your back. So lowering onto the ground. From here, hug the knees into the chest and just rock from side to side, releasing any tension in the low back. And then from here, we'll move into supported shoulder stand. So releasing the hands to the ground, pressing the palms into the ground. Go ahead and draw the knees up pressing into the palms and then go ahead and lift the legs up and then bring the hands underneath the hips for support. Making sure the hips are stacked above the shoulders. From here, you can find any variation, maybe eagle legs, crossing one leg over the other and then switching sides. Otherwise, keeping the legs straight here if that feels better for you. Keeping the chin tucked into the chest. And then when you're ready, you can slowly release the feet back down. And before moving into our final resting posture, if there's any last pose you'd like to end your class in, feel free to go there now. But if you're ready for Shavasana, go ahead and extend the legs straight out in front of you. And another option here is to find reclined butterfly pose. So bringing the soles of the feet together, spreading the knees out wide, opening up the hips. Just finding a position you can be comfortable in for the next few minutes. So as you settle into your final pose, Allow the arms to rest alongside your body with the palms face up. And then go ahead and close the eyes. Finding a cleansing breath here. So exhaling where you are. Inhale through the nose. 
and exhale, let it out. So we'll be guiding you through a body scan meditation here in Shavasana. So try to stay still and relaxed as you listen to my voice. Bringing awareness to the tips of your toes, the bottom of your feet, the heels, and the ankles. Moving to the calves, the shins, and the knees. Bringing awareness to the thighs, the back of the hamstrings, Feel your hips sink further to the ground beneath you. Feel the natural arch of your back. Feel the belly soften. Feel the slight movement of the ribs and the chest. Feel the shoulders sink towards the earth. Feel the arms become heavy. The biceps, the triceps, the forearms, the wrists, the palms, and the tips of the fingers. Feel the neck relax. Feel the facial muscles soften. The jaw, the cheeks, Releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Relaxing the eyes. Feel the space between the eyebrows soften. And finally moving to the crown of the head. And bringing awareness to your body as a whole system now. All the way from the toes to the top of your head. Bring awareness to any physical sensations. The temperature of your body. The weight of your clothes against your skin. from here and slowly start to wiggle the fingers and the toes if the knees are spread apart just gently draw them together bending any movement to just gently waken up the body You can hug the knees into the chest. Find a full body stretch. Whenever you're ready, rolling onto one side of the body, using the lower arm for support. at your own pace, taking your time, just gently make your way up into 
a seated position, keeping the eyes closed or the gaze soft. When you're ready, bringing your hands to heart center, feeling a sense of deep gratitude for yourself, for setting aside time today for your practice. And setting an intention to bring this calm state of awareness into each present moment throughout the rest of your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Together we'll bow our heads in gratitude. Namaste. I hope you have a great rest of your day today. And I'll see you in the next class.